Hello there, uh, welcome to Hoys Garage again. I'm sitting in the old Audi A2, the car that passed 500,000 kilometers not so long time ago. Now, Audi, they, uh, they noted that and they sent me a little gift. So this is supposed to be an OBD2 over the air transmitter for software updates. It sounds a bit, sounds a bit Tesla-ish, but uh, that's what they say. So I will plug this thing into the to the uh, port here, and let's see if this thing really works. So, with a bit of hassle, I've uh, downloaded uh, some. Yeah, in the phone, I've downloaded some uh, my Audi application, and well, there are a few silly things to to run now. But one one thing that I will try to get working is to um, to run some voice control. So I will now, ah yeah, and this is in German of course. So I will now try to get the car to understand that I want to open the windows. So let's see. Hallo, A2, Fenster öffnen. <laughs> that window thing worked. I think it's more useful if you're outside the car, but then the phone and it has to have connection with the car. But anyhow. Um, there's a second thing that I've downloaded that is a bit more a uh, bit more interesting. It says Engine control unit upgrade on demand. Activated by pulling the stalks simultaneously. Like putting neutral into a Lamborghini or something with paddle shift. Then it says fuel injection parameters has been changed or, or will be changed. Ignition firing order will be changed. <laughs> Alternator can temporarily support an overboost mode. And then a little warning. If, no. if transmission components are original, be careful when accelerating using first and second gears. What have Audi come up with? I will have to be careful because my car is very worn. Oh ah, yeah, anyhow. So let's see. Ignition on. Stocks. Übergeschnappmodus aktiviert. <laughs> okay, German. And then let's go. Oh well, <laughs> this was a bit of fun. Uh, the car has more power for sure, uh, but having this power in this old car, well, since it's so worn, um, no, I'll have to uninstall this thing. I will snap a drive shaft or ruin the clutch or something. So um, no, if I want to have some fun, I will take the Megane RS instead. Of course, this is just a cheap daily driver. Anyhow, as a last little thing, I saw that in the forest over there, there's still a bit of snow on the little gravel road in the forest. So I'll go there and uh, let it spin a bit on the snow and um, you will see. Uh, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye bye. That's all from Hoist Garage today. There will be more coming. Mm -hmm.